Hi there, it's Chris here with SelfMadeNewbie.com and in this video we're going to go through the best 32 inch smart TVs currently out there today. Now I've kept this list as comprehensive as possible, narrowing it down to my absolute favorite top five picks. So no matter what you're looking for, there'll definitely be something on this list for you. So before we jump in, drop a like, subscribe and hit the bell to be updated with new videos. All right, as usual, I'm gonna skip the fluff and just jump into my recommendations. If you wanna confirm what they are, go in the description there and check out that list to ensure you get the lowest price. All right, so the first one on the list is gonna to go to my personal favorite, and this is the Samsung The Frame 32 inch. So when was the last time you looked at your TV and thought, hmm, I wish it had more personality, maybe even a sense of fashion? Well, if your television is currently having an identity crisis, the Picasso of the TV world is here in the form of the Samsung The Frame 32 inch, a TV that's determined not just to be a box of moving pictures. Some of the key features, screen size, 32 inches of course, no overcompensation. Resolution, full 1080p, because anything less would be like pouring fine wine into a plastic cup, really. Panel type, QLED, this TV has better makeup than most of us. And a smart TV platform. It's not just smart, it's I do your taxes for you smart. Also HDR, it's got HDR10, HLG and HDR10+. It's the TV equivalent of a triple threat in the theatre world. The design, it isn't just a TV, it is really an art piece with its customizable bezels. It's like giving your TV a new outfit every week. And that special art mode, turning your living room into the love uh, without the expensive entry ticket. Image quality, let's be honest, no one's looking at their reflection in the TV when you've got such glorious QLED image quality. Samsung's dual LED backlight system is like the TV's personal glam squad, ensuring those colors pop and contrast uh, perfectly. The setup as well, they say setting up a TV is harder than setting up a tent, but not with the Samsung's fantastic One Connect box. Plug in once and voila, all your messy cables are out of sight and out of mind. So in conclusion, this is best for anyone who appreciates style and quality and doesn't mind splurging a little bit. After all, can you really put a price on class? The next one is my recommendation for the best budget option. This is the Vizio D32H option. So let's chat about the blue collar worker of the TV world. It's not necessarily the CEO of the boardroom, but it's the one you want handling your spreadsheets and maybe brewing your coffee. And that's the Vizio D32H D1, a 32 inch wonder that's not gonna empty your wallet anytime soon. Some of the key features, again, 32 inches, resolution 720p, so no, not full HD, but think of it as sort of like casual Friday HD. The panel type is LED LCD, so reliable, like that one colleague who remembers everyone's birthdays. The smart TV platform, smart cast. It's got the most popular streaming services built in, so think of it as the greatest hits, really, of streaming. Design and features, no HDR, no problem. It's the personality that counts, right? And with a full array of LED backlighting, you've got a screen brighter than probably my future. Sound, those five watt built-in speakers might not exactly get you the concert feel, but for the price, it's like getting a three course meal on a fast food budget. The connectivity, two HDMI ports, a USB port and a HDMI ARC support for a sound bar. So it's not picky, this TV's playing well with others. So who's this for? The budget conscious binge watcher who doesn't wanna break the bank but still wants a decent TV experience. The next one is my recommendation uh, for the best value. This is the Toshiba 32 WK3C. So let's talk about a TV that's trying to be the tech version of a Swiss army knife. Uh, the Toshiba 32 WK3C. It's like a TV and Alexa had a baby and it's surprisingly good looking as well. Key features, screen size, again, 32 inches. Resolution, HD 720p. So no, it won't make the Royal Corgis look ultra realistic, but it's still pretty sharp. Panel type, LED LCD, so no fuss, no muss. Smart TV platform, Toshiba Smart Portal. So it's smart, but probably won't do your taxes. Special features, built-in Alexa. You can now shout at your TV and it'll actually listen. And image quality, HD resolution limitations aside, it offers surprisingly good images. It's like ordering chips and getting a side of truffle mayo. Delightful and unexpected. Voice integration, you've got the power of Alexa right inside this bad boy, although sometimes Alexa's voice sounds a bit like she's out. Uh, she's been out all night singing karaoke for some reason. So in conclusion, this one is for people who fancy a cuppa and a biscuit and some voice activated TV on a budget. Not full HD, and if you're looking for the sultry tones of Alexa, you might be met 
with more of a morning after the party voice. But for a TV that's affordable, smart, and answers back in a good way, uh, this is a cheeky bargain. The next one is my recommendation for smart TV features. This is the TCL 3 Series Roku TV. So let's talk about a TV that gives you everything you want in terms of smart features, but keeps your wallet feeling like it just finished a yoga session, all flexible and relaxed. So the TCL 3 Series Roku TV, it's like that college roommate who's surprisingly organized and doesn't eat all your snacks. The key features, uh, resolution full HD, so this TV won't leave you squinting or asking, wait, is that a blob or Brad Pitt? Panel type, LED, straightforward and uncomplicated, just how you like it. Smart TV platform, Roku TV. It's got more app support than I have emotional support. From Netflix and Disney Plus to Hulu and Apple TV Plus, it's a real smorgasbord. Special features with three HDMI ports, it's more sociable than my entire last year. And the 60 Hertz panel, it's like giving your eyes a little speed boost. Image quality, while there's some aggressive overprocessing that could make your spaghetti western look like an Italian soap opera, you still get decent quality. So who's this for? Maybe the tech-savvy, budget-conscious viewer who wants a smart TV that's smarter than my ex. A tiny hiccup is that the output's dimmer than a candlelit dinner in a power cut and no HDR. But when you look at all the Roku brilliance packed inside, it's like complaining that your ice cream sundae doesn't have enough sprinkles. Uh, it's still a solid option. The next one is my recommendation for the best 1080p resolution option. This is the Cello Smart Android TV. So imagine a world where budget TVs are no longer synonymous with the I'll regret this purchase. Enter stage left, the Cello Smart Android TV. If TVs had a rag to riches story, this would probably be it. Full HD, because if you're watching a trashy reality show, at least it should be clear. Panel type, LED LCD. It's the mince pie of screens. Traditional, but satisfying. Smart TV platform, Android TV. Think of it as giving your grandma a smartphone. So initially surprising, but then you realize it's actually pretty nifty. Special features, you have Chromecast built in. So who doesn't love a TV that's also a bit of a show off? Google Assistant support means it's always listening, but not in a creepy way. Streaming heaven as well from Netflix to Amazon Prime to less glamorous, but just as vital, Freeview Play for all your British TV quirks. So this is for those who are looking to ball out on a budget without having to squint through subpar resolution. Limited viewing angles, so not great for secret soap opera sessions and a sound that might remind you of a mouse trying to sing opera. But with its reasonable price and top tier features, the Cello Smart Android TV is like getting a luxury suite for the price of a broom cupboard. Uh, it's posh, it's British and it's budget friendly and it makes you wonder why you ever splurged on anything pricier. All right, so hopefully there's something on that list for you. I've tried to include some variety there, depending on what you're looking for. If you do have any questions though, drop them down below. And if you found value in this video, drop a like, subscribe and hit the bell. And I'll see you next time. Take care.